Hey, good day. So we proceed to the staggered type of a bolt connection for uh, tension members. So let's have this example for us to understand if there are any advantages of this type of bolt connection compared to our previous example. Okay, for this example, I determine the bolt, uh, determine the load capacity of the angle used as a tension member shown below. The standard size holes are for 19 millimeters diameter uh, bolts. Use A36 steel and standard gauges distance for angles. Then we are to neglect a block shear. So this will be the cross section of uh, the angle. So we have the longer leg is equal to 200 millimeters. Shorter leg is 150 mm and its uh, thickness is 16 mm. I projected to this uh, side uh, for us to see uh, the center to center distance. So 50 millimeters on uh, centers. I right, then I uh, let us have the properties of uh, the steel to be used. Okay, the properties of a uh, 36 steel. So for a 36 steel, we have Fy is equal to uh, 36 kips per square inch, or we recall 1 ksi is equal to 6.8 and 95 mega pascals. So if we are to convert this one to uh, MPA, okay, so that is uh, 36 multiplied by 6.895, uh, okay, that is uh, 248.22. So we round that to the nearest whole number, 248 mega uh, pascals for easier computation. Then we have okay, the equivalent of FU for A36 is the 58 okay, KSI. Then, okay, equivalent to a megapascal, okay, 58 times 6.895. 399.91, so rounding that to the nearest whole number, uh, let's say, okay, 400 megapascals. Okay, then, for the uh, diameter of the bolt, okay, we are to use okay, 19 uh, millimeters. So, for that 19 mm, Okay, the diameter of uh, the bolt is equal to okay, 19 uh, millimeters. So for the uh, nominal okay, nominal diameter of the hole in that okay, for this uh, angle bar that will be equal to 19, we are to add 2 uh, millimeters. So we are to use a nominal diameter of the hole to be 21 uh, millimeters. But for the net diameter of the hole, okay, this is... Uh, the net diameter of the hole that is equal to 21 millimeters plus 2. Okay, and again, this provision is from okay, NSCP. So we are to use for computation okay, a net diameter of the hole to be okay, 23 uh, millimeters. So now, we, okay, where do we uh, place or how do we space these holes okay, in this okay, angle bar? So we have there a uh, center to center distances. We have that as the K, L, M, and N. So according to our uh, problem, I uh, we are to use a uh, standard gauges uh, distance for angles. So we can we have an, uh, we have a reference that is by I uh, Mac Mac I I can't remember actually the the correct name of the author. Sorry. So, this is the table I needed for this one. So, for example, we have uh, the gauges uh, distance. This is for one hole. All right, so, we have a G. Then, for two holes, for one upper leg, we have that as the G1 and a G2. So, for our example, uh, we have two holes. All right. So, we have two holes. So, that, that's why we are to use a uh, G1 and a G2. But for this table, okay, the units are in inches. So let us uh, first consider to uh, convert uh, the dimension of this uh, leg or the legs, the dimension of the legs of this angle to inches. So we have okay, 2 millimeters. Okay, 1 inch is uh, basically equal to 25.4 millimeters. So for this, I okay, 200 millimeters. 
That is 200 divided by okay, 35.4. Uh, uh, let's say this 7.87. So this is 7.87 inches. Uh, let's say for whole numbers, let's say we are to use okay, 8 inches. Okay, for the 200 millimeter uh, leg. Then for the 150 millimeter leg, uh, that is 150 millimeters divided by 25.4. This is 5.9, uh, 5.91, or let's say this is uh, oh yeah, nearest whole number, let's say 6 inches. So therefore, okay, for that uh, table, for the computation of the, uh, the this is spacing, K, L, M, and N. Okay, so we are going to use uh, six and uh, 8 inches and... 6 inches considering that we have G1 and a G2 since we have two holes per per leg okay so if you have two holes per leg so we have G1 is a uh, 3 inches G2 is 3 inches for the 8 inches leg then we have a uh, G1 2 and 1 fourth and a uh, G2 that is 2 and 1 half for uh, the 6 inches a uh, leg so let us uh, copy those uh, values. So this is for the 8 inches leg. So we have a G1 and a G2. For G1 and G2, oh, let us again, uh, let's, let's transfer this table. Okay, for G1 and G2, okay, this uh, corresponds to, okay, based on our figure, uh, G1 is L and G2 will be the value of K. So under the uh, 8 inches for uh, G1 and G2, that will be okay, 3 inches for both uh, distances. So we have that as okay, 3 inches and 3 inches. So we are using okay, millimeters, so we convert this one to uh, millimeters. So simply multiplied by uh, 25.4 uh, 25 mm. So we multiply 3 inches to 25.4. I multiplied by 25.4. So we have that equal to. Okay, so this is uh, 3 times uh, 25.4. Okay, we have that as uh, 76.2. Or we are just using whole numbers for easier computation. Let's say 76 millimeters. So for both a G1 and a G2. Okay, so we have now the distances K and, uh, K and L. So the value of K is equal to 76 millimeters. The value of L is also 76 mm. Well, for the value of M... Uh, that is for the uh, 6 inches leg of our angle bar. So we have uh, under 6 inches. Uh, so this is for uh, 6 inches. We have a G1 and G2. So the G1 for 6 inches, uh, that is from the angle, uh, that is the value of M. Okay, that is uh, for G2, that will be the value of uh, N. So for uh, for G1, under 6 inches, that is 2 and 1 fourth. So that is the same as, uh, let's say, 2 and 1 fourth. We can have it as 2.25 inches. Okay, multiplied by, okay, we are to modify this one. Okay, to uh, 25.4 millimeters. And that will be equal to okay, 2 and 1 fourth or 2.25 multiplied by... Uh, 25.4 and that will be 57.15 uh, so let's say 57.15 uh, for easier computation we round this to the nearest whole number let's say 57 millimeters then for the value of G2 or N that is we have that as I2N uh, 1 half or 2.5 uh, 2 inches Okay, to be multiplied by okay, 1 inch is 25.4 millimeters. And that will be equal to 
And this is 2.5. I multiplied by by 25.4. So you have this as 63.5. So round this to the nearest whole number, let's say 64 mm. So you have now I the values for m and n. I the distance m is equal to uh, 57 and the distance n this is center to center distance for holes n is equal to 64 mm okay, so we have now okay, we, we are now able to locate uh, these holes for this okay, uh, boats so what's next okay, uh, next will be uh, we are now to compete for the net areas and the okay, effective areas Okay, so let's have uh, first okay, the gross area. Okay, so let's say this is for the uh, area gross. Okay, how do we compute for the uh, gross area of this uh, angle? Okay, so we may uh, separate the legs of this angle into two uh, rectangles. Okay, uh, let's say, uh, let's say uh, uh, we are to extend this uh, dimension. Okay. Uh, that is with a total length of uh, 200 uh, millimeters and its thickness is uh, 16 mm. So that is uh, one, uh, one rectangle. Uh, that is uh, 200 mm by 16 mm. So if uh, the other leg has a length of 150 mm, again, so this is uh, the thickness is uh, 16. So what is 150 minus 16? Okay, this is I one hundred I one hundred thirty uh, four with the same thickness of sixteen mm. So another uh, rectangle. So I just uh, divide okay, the angle into two uh, rectangle. That is one way how to compute for the gross area. Okay, so we have for the uh, gross area. So we have two rectangles. So the first uh, rectangle is two hundred millimeters by sixteen plus that is 134 millimeters multiplied by uh, 16 mm. So we have the area gross is now equal to uh, 200 plus 134, then multiplied by uh, 16. That's 5,300, 5,344 square millimeters. Then okay, we proceed to the net area. Uh, for ordinary uh, connection, other than this, uh, the stagger. Type, staggered type of bolt connection, how do we compute for the area net? So basically, area net is the area gross less or the area of the holes. So uh, that is for ordinary uh, type of bolt connection. But here, uh, we are to, eff to add uh, the effect of staggering. So that is a uh, plus uh, the summation of S squared, this is divided by 4 times G, I okay, multiplied by the okay, thickness of the plate. So this is one advantage of using a okay, staggered bolt connection. It increases okay, the, net effect, the net effective area. So by the way, what is S and what is G? So basically S is the horizontal center to center uh, distance. Then I for the value of G that will be I the vertical center to center uh, distance. Okay, so for the I area net, so what are the possible uh, path? Okay, and another one one advantage for for this type of bolt connection is that I uh, another ex, uh, another advantage is that it adds I it adds possible rupture uh, path. So it it increases the num the numbers of possible uh, rupture path. So let's say uh, the the upper edge of this uh, figure will be uh, let's say one, and the lower edge will be a uh, two. So this is one possible a uh, rupture path. So from one to uh, by the way, so this is. Uh, I, this is A, B, I, C, then a D I, from our uh, cross section. I, yes, that is A, B, C, and D. So from 1, so this is one possible uh, rupture path from 1 to B. 
then from B2, a D, then I D2, I the edge, a 2. So let's say uh, that path is 1, B, I then D, then a 2. Right, that is one possible rupture path. So can we uh, determine the net area for this one? Right, so basically, that is uh, this, uh, this rupture path is simply equal to right, the area net, that is area gross. As you can see, for this rupture path, we, in, we encountered only two holes. That is, I, we have I B and a D. So again, the diameter uh, of the hole, or the net diameter of the hole to be used, is equal to uh, 23 millimeters. Then, I, the thickness of the plate is I, 16 mm. So for this one, so area net minus I two areas of holes, I two area of a hole. So we have the area gross is five thousand three hundred forty four minus twice. Okay, the area of the hole is twenty three by uh, that is twenty three. I okay, multiplied by uh, sixteen. So we are having okay, five thousand three hundred forty four minus two times I okay, twenty three times I okay, sixteen. So they ha we have that as 4,608 millimeters right, as the net area. But if we are looking for the net area, we are to look for the least possible value. Right, that will be our uh, critical value or our design uh, basis. So that is one path, I1, B, D, and I2. So another path we can have, uh, for example, this one. So I'll be using green. So let's say from uh, the upper edge is 1 to bolt A, then from bolt A to bolt B, then from bolt B to bolt D, then from bolt D to, okay, again, I okay, to 2. So our new uh, rupture path, let's say that is, I will be using green this time, this 1, A, then I, B, okay, then D, then 2. So, how do we compute for uh, the net area for this rupture path? Uh, so, how many holes? So, that is the same as uh, the area gross uh, minus how many holes? So, we have that as for, uh, for A, B, and D. That will be 3 times the area of a hole. Uh, do we have a staggering effect or do we have a staggered connection? Yes, we have 1. That is, the sta that is for... Uh, bolt A and I bolt B. So what is the value of S for A to B? Uh, that is 50 millimeters. And the value of G is, uh, do we have the distance between A and B? Uh, that is the same, I think, as K a while ago. So the value of this uh, G is the same as K. We have 76 millimeters. All right, so let us now compute for uh, the area net for this uh, rupture path. So plus, uh, this is S squared divided by 4G times the thickness. So we have, this is now area net is equal to my area gross. We have that as 5,344. I minus 3 times the area of a hole is 23 by 16 millimeters thick plate. I then I plus. I S is 50 millimeters again. So what is our S? That is between A and B. S is equal to uh, 50 and A and B, the value of G is 76. So 50 squared divided by 4 times 76 multiplied by the thickness of the plate. Uh, the thickness is equal to uh, 16. So we have the area net is now equal to uh, so our area net is uh, 5,344 minus I uh, 3 times I 23, then multiplied by a 16. Then I, the advantage of staggered connection. So we have plus an addition to the, or an addition to the net area. That is the S squared over 4G times the thickness. So our S is 50 squared, I divided by, uh, this is 4 times I 76. Okay, then multiplied by the thickness of the angle. That is 70, ah, that is, uh, 16. 
Okay, so we have that as 4,371.6 4,371.6 square millimeters. So we can uh, say that this area net or this rupture path is more critical compared to the first one. Alright, then uh, let's have another uh, rupture path. So let's try let's try considering four holes this time. Okay, so I'll be just uh, using another okay, another uh, color for this one. Uh, let's say uh, I'll be using blue this time. So what if we are to consider this time uh, bolt C? So from 1 again, from the upper edge to bolt A, then to bolt B, or I think blue is not a good color for this one. I will just use another one. So this yellow will be visible. Alright, let's try. So I'll be trying a yellow. So let's say from the upper edge, alright, that is 1 to bolt A. Then from bolt A to bolt B, then from bolt B to bolt C, then from bolt C to uh, bolt D, then again to the uh, lower edge, that will be at, at 2. So that will be our new uh, rupture uh, path. So for our new uh, rupture path, that is I uh, 1 A. I B, C, then D, then okay, 2. Okay, so let's have okay, the values of S, N, a G for this uh, path. So what is the value of S and the value of a G? So where do we have the uh, staggering effect? So that is for A, I A, B, uh, A to B, B to C, and C to D. Okay, so we have, that is for, okay, so we need the stag uh, staggering effect for our distances for A to B, B to C, and C to D this time. So what are the corresponding values of S and uh, G? So for the values of S, I think we have a common distance, horizontal center to center distance, that is 50 millimeters. Okay, 50, 50, 50. Okay, that is for the value of okay, for the value of S. Then for the value of G, okay, for the value of G, so what is the G between A and B? We have that uh, earlier. That is the same as okay, 76. Okay, what about, okay, so let's have this one. What is the distance between C and D? So, the value of G for uh, C and D, okay, we have this as 64 uh, millimeters. So, that is the G or this is the same as N a while ago. Okay. So, that is uh, N, 64 millimeters. Okay. That is the value of G between uh, C and D. This is uh, 60, uh, this is 64 mm. Okay, so what about for uh, the distance between B and C? Uh, take note that is the, okay, for B and C, we need this center to center distance. So from the center of B, okay, from the center of B, okay, to this angle, uh, to this corner, this is a right angle, then towards the center of uh, C. So all we have to do is okay, uh, remove the thickness. Okay, so this a uh, distance is uh, basically. Okay, so this distance is a uh, seventy-six millimeters. So a while ago, this uh, value of G is the same as the L. Okay, the same as the L, we have that as seventy-six. But up to the edge, supposedly that is, okay, we have a thickness here, a thickness of sixteen mm. But okay, what is that uh, distance? That is the distance M a while ago. 
Uh, supposedly, this is distance m, but if we have that as 16 up to this edge, we have this only as okay, 57 millimeters. Okay, this is 57 mm minus 16. So, what is 57 less 16? Okay, so we have 57 millimeters minus 16 millimeters. The thickness of the plate is 41. So okay, this is the same as uh, this G should be uh, the same as this distance is the same as 40, uh, 41 mm. Yeah. So 57 minus 41. Okay, so from 57 minus uh, the thickness, that will be okay, 41 millimeters. So the effective G, okay, the effective G between B and C, okay, the value of the effective uh, G between uh, B and C will be uh, equal to So it's getting messy, I'm sorry. So the value of uh, G between B and C, that will be okay, uh, 76 millimeters, okay, 76 plus uh, 41 mm, and that is 117. So we are going to use the G between B and C equal to 117 millimeters. Okay? Okay, for uh, between B and C, uh, the value of G should be 117. Okay, so let us now compute for okay, the net area for this one. So we have the uh, net area is equal to uh, the area gross minus how many holes this time? 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. We are considering okay, all 4. So minus 4 times the area of a hole plus uh, the summation of S squared divided by 4 times G multiplied by the uh, thickness. So let us uh, substitute. So we have the net area is area gross 5,344 minus 4 times uh, the area of the hole is 23 millimeters diameter times the thic thickness 16 I uh, plus. Uh, for the first one, that is for A to B, uh, that is S, we have that as 50 squared divided by 4 times 76. Then plus, uh, I'm uh, to be multiplied by the thickness. Uh, to be multiplied by the uh, thickness 16, then plus 50 squared divided by 4 times 117. I uh, multiplied by the, by the thickness 16. Then the last one, that is 50 squared, I uh, multiplied by the thickness to be divided by 4 times, uh, 4 times the uh, 64 millimeters. So let's have the area net considering this uh, rupture path. It is uh, 5,344 uh, less 4 times uh, 23 uh, multiplied by 16 uh, plus uh, 50 squared multiplied by 16 uh, to be divided by uh, 4 times 76 uh, then plus uh, 50 squared to be multiplied by the thickness 16 uh, to be divided by 4 times 117. Okay, then plus uh, 50 squared okay, multiplied by uh, 16 okay, to be divided by uh, 4 times 64. So we have that as 4,245. 4,245.3. Is that 0.3? Yes, 0.3 square millimeters. So this is okay, another uh, net area. Then if we are to com uh, compare the three, I think we will... There are no longer another uh, type of or another rupture path critical than uh, the, the last uh, this one the last one. So this is I uh, four thousand two hundred forty five point three. So the least value will govern. So the least value I uh, four six four three. Uh, the last one will govern. Uh, that is I uh, four thousand two hundred forty five point three millimeters. So this will be our okay, area net. 
So the least value will uh, govern. So for the area effective or the effective area, that is the area net multiplied by a u. So what is our u or that is the shear log factor? So again from our table, okay, from NSCP. So I think it is the same as case 1. All tension members where the tension load is transmitted directly to each of the cross-section elements by fasteners. Since all cross-section elements, the two legs of our angle have a bolt connection. Okay? They have bolt connection. They have two bolts connection. So again, therefore, our area effective is area net, okay, the least value, 4245.3. Uh, the shear lag factor is the same as 1.0. So we'll be having the same value as the area net. Uh, 4245.3. Uh, square millimeters. Uh, so let's have now uh, the load capacity and the allowable uh, strength. Uh, so let's have now the uh, design values. So for our first uh, consideration, uh, that is uh, number one, this is for the gross uh, section uh, yielding. So let's have the equivalent of our uh, P sub N. Uh, the P sub N is basically equal to Fy multiplied by the area gross. So we have okay, P sub N is equal to, so a while ago, what is the value of our Fy? Right, that is equal to 248 mega uh, pascals. So 248 mega pascals are the newtons per square millimeters so what is our area gross area gross is uh, this value we have that as a uh, 5344 uh, square millimeters all okay, right so the resulting unit is in terms of newtons so we are to multiply this one to one kilonewton is to uh, a 1000 newtons so this will be the nominal uh, capacity we have that as 248 okay, multiplied by 5,344 okay, to be divided by 1,000 to be in kilonewtons. 1,325.312 kilonewtons. Then okay, let us check their uh, corresponding ultimate and allowable values. So under LRFD. Okay, so we have the reduction factor theta is equal to 0 0.90. So we have okay, P sub U is equal to okay, the P multiplied by uh, P sub N. So we have P sub U is equal to P 0 0.90 of 1,325.312 kilonewtons. So we have the ultimate value will be equal to, uh, this is multiplied by 0 0.9. Okay, that is 1,192.78. 1,192. Okay, 0.78 kilo newtons. Then, okay, for under ASD, okay, we have okay, uh, the factor of safety for GSY or the gross section yielding is 1.67. We have the allowable load is now equal to okay, the piece of N divided by the omega. So we have P sub A is equal to P sub N, 1325.312 to be divided by 1.67. So we have P sub A is now equal to 1325.312 to be divided by 1.67. And that is equal to 793.6. Point a six kilo newton. So these are our design values under GSY for LRFD and ASD. So let's have for uh, the second one. So for our second consideration, our second analysis, that is for the tensile uh, rupture strength. So we have the value of uh, PN is equal to F U I multiplied by the effective area. So let's have a okay, P sub N is FU. What is our FU a while ago? FU is equal to uh, 58 KSI or 48 mega pascals. So this is okay, for, uh, 400 mega pascals. So 400 mega pascals or 400 
newtons per square millimeter multiplied by, okay, what is our effective area a while ago? 4,245.3. This is, okay, 4,245.3 square millimeters. So again, this is in terms of newtons multiplied by 1 kN is to 1,000 newtons. So you have okay, the nominal capacity is now equal to in terms of TRS or the tensile rupture strength. Okay, 400 multiplied by 4,245.3. Okay, to be divided by 1,000. That is 1,698.12. 1698.12 kilo newtons. And then, okay, so for under the two methods, okay, first is the LRFD. So our reduction factor under tensile rupture strength is now equal to 0 0.75. So we have PU is equal to P of P sub N. So our PU is equal to P 0 0.75 of 1698.12 So our PU is now equal to okay, So this value multiplied by point, uh, 75 okay, 1273 1273.59 kilo newtons Then under okay, ASD So our uh, factor of safety this time is equal to 2.0 so we have the allowable a load is equal to the nominal divided by the factor of safety we have the allowable load is now equal to 1698.12 to be divided by uh, 2 so p allowable that is uh, 1698.12 to be divided by a uh, 2 is now equal to uh, 849.068 49.06 kilo newtons. So these are the design values under ITRS. But we need to compare this values class to the values from the GSY or the gross section yielding for our summary. I for the summary. Okay. So what will be our uh, design values? So our design values class for Our design values for LRFD, okay, the safe load or the ultimate load will be equal to 1192.78 kN. So this will uh, govern, okay, that is under GSY, the gross section yielding. Well, for uh, the ASD, okay, for the ASD, the allowable load should be equal to 793.6 kilonewtons. Also under GSY. Okay, so these are our answers. Uh, take note that if you are designing uh, loads or load capacity, uh, so it's uh, the ultimate load or the allowable load, okay, the lower the magnitude of the load, the better. Okay, it is safer. But if you are designing dimensions, okay, again, if you are designing with uh, if the, we are designing loads, okay, the lower the load, the better. Okay? But if you are designing dimensions, okay, the larger dimensions, the better. But one consideration is it economical. Okay? So when it comes to the load, the lower the load, the better. But when it comes to the dimension, okay, the higher the load, the better. But you need to consider, okay? Is it an economical uh, load, uh, economical dimension? So this will be our uh, final answers.